Okay, first and foremost, I want to give all the honours and the praises and the glory belongs to my Lord and Saviour. His name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Mahava Kakwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and His Son's name is Yahweh Shai. And who I reverence and honours to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days because you know we're living in the last days of the last days. So we're going to flow with the Spirit and see what we can get out and to what you have by Shem Yahweh for another day to be able to minister to the elect, Baba Kasha. You got people with their with their charms, bro. Your witchcraft ain't working, but that's another lesson. Their witchcraft ain't working, man. <clears throat> no matter how much dark energy you summon up. So we're gonna go to Mark 25 and go straight to verse. You know, 25. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. So the lamps represent the wisdom, right? And them lamps, that's what we have, the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding. And it says, I went, more, went forth to meet the bridegroom. The bridegroom is Yahweh Shai. And five of them are wise, five of them are foolish. So we want to be them wise virgins. Okay, and it says, Baba Kisha, they that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. So we don't want to be them foolish virgins, right? That took no oil with them, right? It's lucky about the camera, it's all, that's better. We want to be them wise virgins, right? That's what we want to be. They actually had the oil, okay? And it says, check this out. <clears throat> and they that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. So they didn't have the oil. The oil is the wisdom, the understanding, and the knowledge. That's the oil. Okay? Verse 4. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. So that's what we need. The wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding. That's the oil. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. So the bridegroom is Yahweh Shai. And it says, Go ye out to meet him. So there's going to be a time where the Lord's going to be what? Returning upon earth. Okay? And we have to be ready. And it says, when all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. So what's that trimming? When you trim that lamp, it's burning brighter. The wick is burning brighter, so that's what we have to do. Trim them lamps, okay? And it says, check this out. And the fool said unto the wise, give us of your oil. For our lamps, key thing. For our lamps have gone out. So this is referring to those that have not applied the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding okay those are the foolish virgins the foolish virgins are those that never attained this word okay they would represent the foolish virgins so you got to actually attain these words and do what it says okay and it says, Baba Kishar, check this out. Check this out. But the wise answered, saying, not so. Lest there be not enough for us. I'm not racist. I'm not racist. <laughs> Why you, you love the white man so much? Very spirit. And it says, Baba Kishar, check this out. But the wise answered, and saying, not so. Lest there be not enough for us and you. But go ye rather to them that sow and buy for yourselves. <laughs> so we got to go to those that buy and sell. 
right? And buy for yourselves. Okay, very spinning. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. And they that were ready went in with him to the marriage and the door was shut. There's going to be a time when them doors are going to be shut. What doors? Them doors and them chariots, man. Bro, your Habesha is on his way. Excuse me just a minute. I hope he's not heat up too much. Your Habesha is on his way. So we need to make sure that we're ready. We're ready when your Habesha comes. Right? Just like a bride is waiting. Right? That's what we have to do. We have to be ready. We have to be alert. Okay? Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, come on. And it says after we came also the other virgins. The virgins are those that weren't trimming their lamps. You have ten white virgins, four foolish virgins. And it says Baba Kasha saying, Lord, Lord, open unto us. So you're going to have those begging, crying. Please, Lord, open unto us. Right? And we want to make sure we are those men that are worthy to be saved. Right? And it says, check this out, by Yatsin said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. So we don't want the Lord saying that. I don't know you. I don't recognize you. We want the Lord to recognize us. And it says, Watch therefore, for you know no, neither day nor hour, the Son of Man cometh. That's why we need to watch, because we don't know what day and what hour. The Lord's going to come, okay? But we do know it's coming. Because we have faith in the scriptures that we're reading. So we went to that Baba Kasha. We have to be on point. We're also going to hold on. The Lord warned us of these things. So we're going to go to Luke 21 and 8. And he said, take heed that ye be not deceived. For many shall come in my name, many, saying, I am Mashiach. So it says that many will come in the Lord's name, claiming to be the Messiah. That's why you have these different religions. They're claiming to be the Messiah. Many shall come in my name, false messiahs, saying, I am Mashiach. Okay. And it says, Baba Kisha, draw not after them, right? Go not after them. But when you shall have wars, hear wars and commotions, be not terrified. So we're going to have wars and we're going to have commotions. But it says, be not terrified. So we're hearing of that. Ukraine, Russia, right? Iran. North Korea. And it said, check this out. Be not afraid. Honestly. Be not terrified, Salakia. For these things must come to pass. So world war, it needs to happen. It's going to happen. And guess what? It was prophesied as well. Okay? And it says, for these things must first come to pass. So everything we spoke of is gonna happen. And it's gonna happen in real time. Okay? And it says, Rent at the rem, nation shall rise against nation. Kingdom against kingdom. So we were going to see this. We were going to see nations against nations. Right? And kingdoms against kingdoms. Russia, Iran, Pakistan. Right? Warfare, nuclear warfare, all that. We were going to be seeing those things in real time. In today's terms, we're going to be seeing World Jesus, War III. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, his name is Yahweh Shai. All right, all right. So, yeah, that's what we're going to be seeing. World War III in real time. Okay, check this out. And it says, we're going to go to where was we, Luke? Hold on. 21. And 10. Rent to the unto them, nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines, and pestilences, and fearful sights, 
And how it is you got Muslims that say they love, they love everyone. They don't love everyone. They're hypocrites. And it says, a fearful sight and great signs shall there be from heaven. So it's this fearful sign. A great sign shall there be from heaven. Blood moons, red moons, all those different things. These are signs from heaven that we're speaking of. Right? <laughs> that we're speaking of. Okay? These are the signs of the times. If you want to get the news, the news is here. So these are the signs of the times. Right? So, this is really serious. Brothers, repent. Repentance is key in the times that we're living in. So we went to that. Baba Kusha, now I want to go to more. Hold on. Bear me just a minute. Matthew. Hold on just a minute. Let me pause this. All right, this is on First Corinthians nine. Okay, and where should we start? Fourteen. Even so hath the Lord ordained that they which preach the gospel should live unto the gospel. So we're preaching this gospel, so guess what? We're supposed to live unto the gospel, seeing that we preach it. Okay? And it says, but I have used none of these things, neither have I written these things, that I shall be so done unto me, for it were better for me to die. That then any man should be make my glorifying void for though I preach the gospel I have nothing to glory for necessity is laid upon me so we have to do this scripture says we have nothing nothing to glory it's necessity that's laid upon me and it's such a itself yeah woe unto me if I preach not the gospel. He feels. Whoa! Unto me, destruction unto me if I preach the gospel. We need to preach. Excuse me. So necessity is laid upon us if we preach not the gospel. This, this is our duty to serve Yahweh Shai in truth, in sincerity, right? In all graveness. What else are you going to do? What else are you going to do? This should be our duty to serve the Lord and nothing else. Because if you ain't serving the Lord, then what are you really doing if you ain't serving Him? And the scriptures do say you cannot serve two masters because you would love one and hate the other. So you got a pick. You can't be on the fence like Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. You have to pick a master. And the master is Yahavashai. That's our master. Okay? Check this out. And it says, check this out. For I do this willingly, for if I do this willingly, I have a reward. But if against my will, a dispensation of the gospel is committed unto me. So we don't want to be doing this against our will. A dispensation is committed unto us. We have to teach His word. We have a duty. Okay. We have a God-given duty to preach, to teach. And you can't just give up, no matter what. All right, so we went to that. See what else we got. We're gonna go to Luke 17 as well. And don't worry about these dark energies. We're gonna do another lesson on that later on. About these dark energies that are being summoned up. Luke 7, 17. And 10. So likewise ye, when you have done all these things which I commanded you, say we are unprofitable servants. So after we've done everything we're supposed to, we still say that. We're still deemed as unprofitable. Why? Because we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. 
so we're still deemed as unprofitable servants in the eyes of the Lord. Okay? And it says, Baba Kisha, Baba Kisha, we have done which was our duty to do. So we are doing what our duty is to do. So you can't expect any or above what you've been given. Okay? We've been given a measure. We've been given a lot. We've been given a, a talent. Right? God given talent. Okay? See what else we got, Baba Kisha. Go to John 12 and 44. And Yahushua cried and said, He that believe on me, believeth not on me but him that sent me. So if you believe in Yahushua, you be so believe on the Father that sent on you. So you have to believe in the record of the Father and of the Son, whose name is Yahushua. The real record which we have. Okay? And it says, check this out. And he that seeth me, seeth him that sent me. And I have come a light into the world. So Yahabashai is that light in this world. And we have that light as well. Right? Key thing has come a light into the world. Okay? And we have it. This is the light. Right here. Right in this book, and it says, And whosoever believe on me shall not abide in darkness. That's what we need to do. Come on now. All we need to do is just abide in this world. So we're not abiding in darkness. No. We are not abiding in darkness. We're not groping for light. Because we got the light right here. Right? These people are groping for darkness. They're trying to find the way. They're trying to find a way. Okay. And it says, Whoso believe in me shall not abide in darkness. So we're not abiding in darkness. We have this light and therefore we can see. Therefore we can walk in the right way. Therefore we can see the pitfalls and the traps because we have this light. So we're going to go to verse 47. If any man hear my words, and believe not, I judge him not. So if someone don't hear our words, guess who's judging them? The Heavenly Father. He's judging them. Okay? But we don't care if these, if whoever don't want to listen, we're not concerned with that. Because the Lord has an elect. The Lord has an elect. And the elect, guess what? They're the ones that are called and that are chosen. So don't think we're out here to say, please, and beg you. We're not out here begging you. Right? The Lord knows who he's elect are. He says, my sheep, hear my voice. So guess what? The Lord's sheep hear his voice. And none of them is lost. None of his sheep are lost. Right? None. And they're all in the hands of the Lord. Okay? Check this out, Baba Kisha, Baba Kisha. So I got something. Verse 48. He that rejecteth me and receiveth not my words have one that judgeth him. The word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. For I have not spoken of myself. Right? But the Father which sent me he gave me a commandment. What should I say and I should speak? And I know that his commandment is life everlasting. And whatsoever I speak, even a father said unto me, should I speak? And another thing I want to say as well, I believe, right? You know on these phones that we're doing these lessons on, I strongly, 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 strongly believe that they probably have detectors on these phones that we're doing these lessons on. They probably have detectors. They're probably able to read if we're nervous, if we're heightened. I believe that. They're probably able to do that, right? Because we're living in a time of technology. We're living in that age, right? So don't think for one minute when we do these lessons, they're not doing certain things. Everything is tech now, because that's part of the new world order. 
right? Technology, okay? Technology, okay? Everything's being controlled. People are being controlled by the mark of the beast. People have been told, go here, go there. That's the mark of the beast. But we got to break out of that. We got to break out of that spell that they're trying to conjure up. Because it is a spell. Right? Woo! Uh -uh -uh. Right? This world is under one big spell. We got to stay focused as well. But this world is under what? Yeah, one big spell. And how do you break out of that spell? By coming to Yahweh Shai. Right? Being renewed. Right? Renew yourself in the spirit of Yahweh Shai. By this word. Romans 12. Okay? Let's go to Romans 12. Like, guess what? You got. Hold on just a minute. Let me get my breath back. This is how bad it is. You got Jehovah's wickedness. You got Jehovah's witness. And guess what? What are they doing to help you? What are your churches doing to help you? What is Jehovah's Witness doing to help you? Nothing, right? What are they doing? Just knocking on your door, right? Knocking on doors, right? Standing there. Scriptures talk about preaching the gospel. Not just standing there with a banner, right? But that's why this is for men to do. And the scripture says, I suffer not a woman to teach nor to usurp authority over the man. So a lot of these women, guess what? They're out of order. A lot of these women are not in order. They're out of order because they're not supposed to be teaching. That's a man's job to teach the word. But that shows you they're not in their rightful order. Go back to these scriptures. And I want to go to Mark 9. And he said unto them, Verily I say unto you, But there shall be some of them that stand here. We shall not taste of death. So, a lot of people talk about death. Oh, you die. My bro. Yahweh said there be some standing here that shall not taste of death. So who is he talking about? His disciples that were with him. They were going to be the ones that were not going to taste of death. Okay? They were not going to experience it. You've got people walking around like zombies. <laughs> they were not going to experience death. The elect were not going to experience that. Right? I said people walking around like zombies, because they are. Most people. Because they want to walk around in darkness. They don't want to receive the gospel. So, Yahweh said they're going to die in their own sins, bro. Because they don't want to receive the word which is able to save their soul. They just want to uphold this world. When the scripture says the fashion of this world passeth away. But he that doeth the will of the heavenly father abideth forever. So what would you rather? Yeah. All right. You would rather that? No, you're saying, you're saying, what would I rather live with? I'll ask you, he that doeth the will of the heavenly father abideth forever. Yeah, I believe so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But then I wouldn't be standing here. Now, some are not. Some are deceived. What is the will of the Father? What is the will of the Father? To sell, save his elect and destroy the wicked. And to the bring save, forth a kingdom. To save his... Huh? To save his... To save his the Messiah, Yahweh Shai. No, you said... I asked you what's the will of the Father, you said to save... To save his elect. Yeah, and to... And to destroy the wicked. And to set up a kingdom upon earth. Who's the, Who's the wicked? Anyone that's not abiding in his word. Anyone that's not abiding in Yahweh's word, they're the wicked. The wicked? Even our own people, they're wicked as well. No, no, forget about her, forget about her, because I'm talking to you, I'm not talking about her. I'm not talking about her, I'm talking about you, I'm dealing with you right now. Are you abiding in the Lord's will? Are you abiding in the Lord's will? Are you? Well, you can tell. You should know them by their fruits. Some of their fruits. Yeah. 
But if you don't know and you don't know their fruits. Huh? If you don't know them, you won't know their fruits. No, but how do you know someone? You get to know them, right? By what? Huh? By what? By their fruits. That's it. By their fruits. How do you get to know them? By their fruits. No. By their actions. Well, human beings, though. How do you get to know someone? Yeah. By their fruits. Oh, oh, have a nice day. Have a nice day. Because I ain't going to get them. That's why two thirds of our people, they're going to be destroyed. Because they think this is a game. They're too invested in this world. If you say that you have Esau's got, got their mind. You. Yeah, I do. Yeah, you talk to someone. So I'm talking to you. Learn, so they can learn. You said, have a nice day. So you're ushering me off. No, no, no. Because I you're talking about that woman. Look, no, you're talking no, about that woman. No, but that woman has nothing to do no, with what I'm saying. Because the way how your mannerisms yeah. went to walk past is that, like, you had something to say. Yeah, no, no, I didn't. What? I didn't. But I'm being honest with you, innit? Yeah. I stopped to hear what you're trying to say. No, no, because you were gonna, you were just going to walk straight past. Until I said zombie, and you said, what? What? So you were going to walk straight past, just like every other zombie does. And I'm going to call them, because that's what they are. They're, they're zombies. zombies. They are. Zombies. They are zombies. I don't think people are zombies. They are. Well, I can prove it to you. Go Zom to Isaiah. Zombies are walking corpses. Yeah, they are. You're right. So I'm going to go to Isaiah now. They are walking corpses. I say walking Isaiah 60. Arise and shine, for the light is come. The light is Yahweh Shire, by the way, brother. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee, upon some of his men. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth, so darkness has covered this earth, even though it's a hot, sunny day. And darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. So if darkness has covered the people, what does that mean? They're walking around blinded. Now it's not to mock them, but they're, they're blind to the truth. And because they're blind to the truth, they come up against the lie. They rebel against the lie. Most of these people that are walking past, they've been told to walk past. They've been told to walk past. So they're doing the, they're doing the will of their father right now, which is Satan. Okay. Satan runs this world. So if they walk past without saying nothing to you, are they doing the will of their Oh, no, 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 that's, my problem ain't that. Doesn't matter, because the scripture says, he that have an ear to hear, let him hear. My problem ain't that, it's just that people are being moved around by Satan to do evil and to think evil about those okay. so that are pushing this work. What, what, what's the way? What's the way for you? Of life? What, 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 I've explained that to you. He that doeth the will of the Heavenly Father abideth forever. Yeah, I, I might need to I slow it down. I didn't I explain that to you. You asked me, who do I believe? I said, Yahweh Shire, who they in really call Jesus Christ. That's who I believe in. Who they call Jesus Christ ignorantly, who's a dark skinned man from the tribe of Judah. That's who I believe in. And that's why I'm doing this work because I could just sit back and do nothing but them. It's not a surety that I'll make it and be saved. That's so, why I'm doing this. I don't get paid overtime to do this. You get paid? I don't get, no, I don't get, you don't get paid. To do this. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Most people do get paid. Most people are taking bribes. I don't get that. People get paid to, 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 to do what? To preach and teach, but that's another topic anyway. Now, I was going to continue anyway, because I know a lot of people are sent up here to what, try to distract you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I've been doing this for a while now, and I'm going through a whole lot of different things. Heavy level spiritual warfare. Heavy level, heavy level witchcraft, bro. Heavy level, proper. So what like, do people normally come and disturb you? Is that what you're saying? What? No, they try, they try to. They try to, right? Just type in, type in gang stalking program. Just type that in. And gang stalking. Gang stalking program, and you'll find out what it is. Right? A lot of witchcraft going on, a lot of black magic. And this is what I'm fighting against, because once you wake up to this truth, you're going to be dealing with high levels of spiritual warfare. High levels. Now you're open up to the spiritual realm. This ain't a joke, this is life and death. My life's on the line. You have people that try to put death spells on me, death curses. This is very real. Is it? Have you gone through certain things? Yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. Like that's, yeah, that's why I'm so sick. I'm, st I'm still going through it. This how, it's, bro, you wouldn't, even, you wouldn't even understand. You wouldn't... It's, 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 it's serious. It's very, very serious. Right? People try to put money on your head as well. Get you involved in cults. I'm not having a go at you, man. You put money on your head? Yeah, yeah, all types of things. But I'm not, I'm, I'm, I am want to put it this way. I'm still lucky to be alive. Very, very... I don't think it's lucky. You say you, say you believe in Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I mean lucky in terms of... To like, survive. In terms of figure of speech, like... like just, to survive the things language. I've survived, bro. Okay. Bro, it's... Man. How long have you been uh, Teacher. a follower of uh, Christ? For a while now. For a while. Over five years. Easily so over what, are five you years. Born again? Def yeah. The right way. If I may ask you, what does it mean to be born again? To be born again? Yeah, yeah. 
They're no longer living in the ways of how you were living before. Completely yeah. different. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So a completely different direction, not a 360, but a 180. Yeah. But the thing is now, yeah, I've been born again through the water by the washing of the words. So it's not by um, baptism in water. That so you didn't get baptized in water? No, you don't need to. You don't need to. Because you've got people that get baptized, right? But they're not. Did Jesus get baptized? Yeah, he did by John the Baptist. Yeah, so why did you get baptized? Are you only allowed to get baptized by John the Baptist? Well, where's, well, are people getting uh, baptized by John the Baptist today? No, but that's what I'm Are you only allowed to get baptized? Because Jesus got baptized by John the Baptist, so are you saying you'd only get baptized by You know what? I think the best thing for me to do is bring out the word, right? Yeah, I get it. But I'm not saying, why would you not get baptized with Jesus? No, no, I am baptized. I'm baptized. In the water? Yeah. What water? What water? The word. Yes, brother, yeah. Yeah, but it says Jesus See, is the I word. See, I like to pick people's brain, but yeah. Jesus is the word, isn't it? Jesus is the word, yeah, the yeah. way, the light. Yes. The yeah, brother. But he got baptized in water. So I feel like, yeah, yeah, he I feel did, like he as did. a follower of Christ, you get baptized in water as well. Yeah, but he you did. Saying the, person, the people that baptize people are not really fit to baptize people. Like, nah, nah, because you could baptize someone with water, right, and they just go back and do wicked, wickedness. So yeah, it's about... That's your, that's your own choice. When you baptize, when you get baptized, you yeah, yeah. a factor about you no longer accept, like you're no longer going to go back to that sin. The sin of your past life. Yeah. Dead, that, you're basically dead to the, your old your old Yes. Self. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So people do that, but yeah. they're not baptized because the baptized is the word. I want to go into it. I'm going to it. Because I think the best thing to do is bring out the scriptures that way. I can't go wrong, so no one can say, well, what do you think? You can still go wrong with scripture. You know the certain men that still go wrong with scripture, though? Yeah, like but, they bring up the scripture, but yeah. they, the way how they interpret it is different. But that's why the scripture says, um, study to show thyself approved in Timothy's. A workman needeth not to be ashamed. So if you're studying, you're not going to be ashamed because people can come up to you and you have the answers. Now, if you're not doing that, then don't be ashamed. So I got some. This is Ephesians 4, 5 and 26. But he might sanctify and cleanse it by the washing of the water. By the word, sanctify what? Yeah, again, you'll be sanctified by the washing of the water. Yeah, yeah, Ephesians 5 and 26, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of the water by the word. Cleanse what? You are. Our mind. minds. Yeah. That's where it starts. Our minds. Our minds have to be cleansed. So it all starts with the washing of the mind. Going back to Romans 12. Have you ever been baptized before? Yeah, when I was younger, yeah. yeah. When I went yeah. to church. Of course not. Hmm. Of course not. I went because I had to go. Whoa! Hairs and his head white like wool. So we had a white woolly afro like the Jacksons. Okay. And it says, check this out. And his eyes were as the flame of fire. The white of his eyes were red because he liked to drink a lot of wine. That's why they called him a wine bimbo, which he wasn't a wine bimbo, he just liked to drink wine. I'm just going to stand a little yeah, bit. Yeah, right. Shade. And it says, and his feet unto fine brass, and have they burned in a furnace. So if you put anything in a furnace, what colour is it going to turn? What colour is it going to turn? It's going to burn. Yeah. It's red, hot, and then ashy colour. Yeah, yeah, so dark. He was a dark-skinned man. Tan. Okay. Yeah, well, he's dark. Could be tan. No, he's not could be tan. It's that they put brass into a furnace. Okay, yeah. So if you put brass right. into a furnace... Yeah, all right, I'm sorry. I haven't slept. <laughs> I'm listening now. You know what? You haven't said, are you just being sarcastic? No, 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 genuinely. Yeah, yeah, same here. I'm just I'm not being sarcastic. Yeah. Right. I'm listening. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Here. And it says, Baba Kisha, as if they burn in the furnace and his voice is the sound of many waters. And he had in his right hand seven stars and out of his mouth a two-edged sword. The seven stars are the angels that are controlling everything. So that's the description of the Messiah. And... The Heavenly Father has a description as well, so you ask me, well, who do I worship? It's the Messiah, whose name is Yahweh Shai. I hope your answer, I hope your question's been answered. Thank you. But then that kind of leads me to so you worship the Messiah. So is the Messiah your God? Um, no. See the Muslims, this is where no, 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 I don't agree. No, because no, 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 the Muslims ask me, is Jesus God and thing. I'm the one who hasn't left, who is just keeping up with this conversation. Yeah, yeah. I've met um, the Jesus is not God. Yeah, but he's a different entity. Yeah, I believe in God. His name is Yahweh. I believe in Yahweh Shai and I believe in Yahweh. No, but this, that's confusing me. Because no, you is. said that Jesus' name is Yahweh, so you're saying Yahweh is God. No, I didn't say Jesus' name was Yahweh. His name is Yahweh Shai. Yeah, and the Father's name is Yahweh. Yahweh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
beautiful that you're mentioning them. They're calling up on their name. No, I don't I'm know. I'm not trying to call you out or anything. Really. It doesn't matter like if you call me out. Call me out on what exactly? Call me out on what exactly? No, I'm saying, call me out on what exactly? I'm not calling you out. I'm just trying to keep up with the facts. I don't mind. I don't. I'm, listen, I don't take. I'm not emotional. I'm a man up here. I don't. You know one thing that like. I don't know, like, you know what? For me, I've, I've, I've seen a lot of people, like, even in is Islam, mm-hmm. people, like, you know, I've been, like, lessons in Islam. When I was young, mm-hmm. like, I didn't do, like, I didn't learn the Quran of Baha, but I started Arabic because I'm Pakistani, I didn't know the Quran oh, like Pakistani. that. Right, right. So when I, I did yeah. that, we learned, we learned the basic way by understanding the language mm-hmm. that it was revealed to us in, yeah, yeah. not English translation, the language of the Quran, mm-hmm. translated the right way, because right. it's different. Yeah, yeah. However, you're reading a book, that's what English Yeah, yeah, right? English, yeah, it has to be. Easier. But it has to be because then, if I was to speak Hebrew, you wouldn't understand it. Give me like, one second. Yeah, yeah. Where are you? So, that's what the scripture Yahweh Shah was. Yahweh Shah was a dark skinned man. Are you? From the tribe of Judah. Okay. Okay. Just give me one minute. So, you know what? The scripture says, Seek here at the book of the Lords, none of these shall fail. So, guess what? That's what we have to do. We have to seek and cry out of the book of the Lord. And there's only one book of the Lord. And that's the Holy Scriptures. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm a Muslim and I yeah, am never going to fall off. Inshallah, never God strike me dead before I do. Mm-hmm. And God gave five books. No, no, no. He gave... Religion. Well, well, if you talk about God five books. God The five. Torah. The Torah. The Torah. The original Torah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, the New Testament, which is... And the Quran. No. Why? Because Who the Quran has nothing to do with the Bible. Okay, just because we, just because you don't know about our book, we talk about the Christians. Are you trying to say we we don't neglect you guys? We feel like aliens to you guys. That's not fair. I feel like an alien to you guys. I'm listening to you. I'm not telling you. You're I feel wrong. like an alien to you. I don't feel like the Muslims really accept me. You know what? My uncle is actually very religious, and he says to me, "I had Christian. I still have Christian friends. He has Christian friends, mm-hmm. and he says." No, you don't. Uh, you know what I should have asked. Right. I should have asked for. Sorry, no, sorry, no, sorry. It's okay, but I'm just camera shy today. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, but he says for me as well. Like I said to him, like all my Christian friends, like I've got few people that believe. Yeah, yeah. You know, God for Christian, yeah. Muslim, and they ask me this question as well. Like, how can I pray for my family that are still Christian? Uh-huh. And it's um, anyone who has a belief system. Yeah, yeah. Anyone who believes in God, whether you're yellow, black, white. Where they, whatever religion it is, yeah. like Christians, Muslims, us as Muslims believe, even in our heaven, it's fair, Christians will be together, Muslims will be together. Yeah, well, you're gonna be, you're gonna be underneath us. That Why are we underneath you? Why are well, we underneath? Well, you're not. The Muslims, nations are gonna be underneath us. Do you see us. how you're already coming with arrogance and you're coming? No, no, I'm not. I'm just, I'm trying to be as humble as possible. No, you're and not. And what? This is Isaiah two. We're beneath. This is Isaiah two, and I said they're gonna be serving us. Okay. okay. Isaiah 2, the word that Isaiah the son of Amos saw concerning yeah. Judah and Jerusalem. Yes. And it shall come forth in the last days, but the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains. And shall be exalted above the hills and the Can we go nations. back to who that was? Who are we talking about? Well, I'm going to break it down to you. If you just... No, no, just the name. Oh, Yahweh Shai. No, no, what you read oh, this there. Way, listen, the word that Isaiah the son of Amos saw concerning Judah and son Jerusalem. Of Amos. Okay. Son of Amos. Okay. You know so, Isaiah, right? Are you going to let me finish? And it yeah, shall come yeah, to pass in the last up, days. Up, yeah. But the mountain of the Lord's house, which is a government structure. That's what the mountains yeah, represent. Yeah, I'm listening. Right? I, I agree. Okay, I'm going to let me... And shall be established on the top of the mountain. So our government is going to be established, beginning yeah. with the Messiah, yeah. then King David. Yeah. King David is important. Yeah, yeah. All right. Star of David, right? I, well, I don't believe in the Star no, of David, because the Star of David, that's... that's that's witchcraft. I know. I'm okay. just. I'm trying to That's see. That's witchcraft. I'm trying to see. If you're gonna gonna get. <laughs> you try to put. You try to put witchcraft no, 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 on me. No, no, no. People try to do that. They try to look me in my eyes and say, "Sorry." No, no, no. I'm witch. I promise. None of that stuff works for me anyway. But anyway, I'm a civilian. <laughs> oh, because they send witches up as well to psych me up. I don't care about that. And it says, "Baba Kishar," and the last house shall be established in the top of the mountains. The other governments. I shall be exalted above the hills. The hills represent the other governments of the mountains. Is the Lord Jerusalem shall be exalted above all governments. And the nation shall flow unto it. The nations, that's tributary. That's traffic. So that's, we're going to have, yeah, we're going to have slaves. We're going to have, someone needs to build up a kingdom, but it's not going to be 
how it is in but like you know see my my belief system is that when it goes like i believe that this life for those who believe that life is horrible and life is for example mm -hmm. shit, what we like yeah, to say because i have look at you like i was born for heaven you were born for more i was born for heaven if i'm good you know only with his mercy yeah I'm not getting to heaven through my own actions. Oh because no! I worship God every single day. Beautiful, beautiful. Become a hijabi. Yeah. But I was for many years. Yeah. But um, it's not that. It's His mercy, right? Yeah. So how come you not dressed like a Muslim? Then? How come you don't have the power? What's the dressing of a Muslim? Because I'm wearing black. A dress. Like the a scriptures talk about um, you wear a dress. A woman's supposed to be modestly um. Am I covered? A, a power? No, not the right way. Can you, can you see any sort of like figure right now? Yeah. Yeah, I can. You're wearing. Yeah, I can. This is this is more appropriate, even though that's still not. Why is that more appropriate? Because look at the size of this. Yeah, I hear what you're saying, but you're wearing a t-shirt and trousers. This is see, this is somewhat better. Yeah, yeah. Where was say, Even though she's wearing a jumper and all that. But you know, because what you're doing instantly is you're saying I'm not good enough. I don't know. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. I hope you don't feel like that. I hope you don't. No, I'm not saying. I never said that. You said that. But that's your feelings, see? Yeah, because feelings matter too. No, 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 no. But scripture says the heart is just control your tongue and don't say too much for others to like. You yeah, know. but by Jeremiah 17 and 9, the heart is desperately wicked and deceitful. We can know it. From the heart, the mind, comes all types of emotions. Don't let yourself get into that crowd. Do I, do I even put that comment out there? Because I feel like comment? I'm... No, no, you have to because it's in the scriptures. Uh, modesty is... I got modesty, something. I got, modesty, right? I got something. This is First Timothy. Please don't get a... I'm, I'm not, not trying to condemn you. I'm not offended. You are. You are. Yeah, okay. Because you right, said I'm you're offended. Because <laughs> my tits and my ass aren't out right now. And that would be immodest, right? Yeah, it would. But yes. you can still see, you can still see, your, I can still okay, see your well, body. Okay, God guide me then? May God guide me, right? Amen. But he uses men to guide you. That's why we're up here. He uses men to guide you. He ain't dealing with you, but no, he uses men. No, he doesn't men. use men. men. Yes, he does. Men, men's gaze is yes, why does. we cover up. Oh my gosh. You know the hijab was revealed to a woman. And I love women wearing that. Men. I love women wearing that. Men I love women wearing that. Because you, see, you still see their beauty. You still see the biases. I see, good. see but, and you're telling me about a man, but you're still thinking about the booty. Think about that. Men corrupt you and good No, no, don't go, don't go, don't go. See, you're getting in your feelings now. No, my food's going to be going for. Ah, uh, a few more then. Let's check this out. This are is... you still going to be here? Can I eat and then have this there? Well, where are you going to eat? Well, if you're going to eat, come out and eat. Here, sit there and eat and let me bless you with this word. Are you going to come back? I'm, I'm not, listen. Bless me with what? This word, the good word. I can open my phone and read it right now. This is First Timothy 2 and 9. In like the same manner also. tactics you're using for yourself, I am keeping... No, I'm not perfect, sister. I've got Neither shortcomings. Am I. Neither am I. This is First, and you've got a good personality as well. This is um, First Timothy 2 and 9. In, in, in like manner also that women adore themselves in modest apparel. Modest. With shame, face, or sobriety, but um, not be broaded hair or gold or purse or costly array. So it says with modest apparel, modestly, you're supposed to be dressing. I no, was, I, no, 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 this no. Ain't, this ain't modest. I'm not gonna, that ain't modest. We so, can't say anything. Modest, no, I can. Because we're slander, sent here to judge. Slander. I'm not slandering. No, 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 you no, no. I'm just saying in general, slandering somebody is what God doesn't like. Arrogance is something God doesn't like. Yeah, yeah, All that. of that stuff, you know, mm. uh, like this isn't even like at you, I'm just saying in general, mm. that what even Muslims do it. Yeah. Muslims say, oh, well, my daughter's not doing it, but your daughter might be doing God knows what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're quick to point fingers at other, like, other people, but this three fingers pointing at ourselves. Yeah, yeah, I know that. You know, so but like, that's why I make sure I'm on point. point. That's why I make sure I'm on point to the best of my ability. Yeah, just try so that. I can come up yeah. here and, you can and be, judge. take the platform like you are doing. Yeah, but that's why I'm up here because I've been through certain things that other people ain't been through. What have you been through? Well, I don't want to go into detail, okay. but I've been through slander. I'm going through slander now. I'm going through smear campaigns. I'm going through persecution. I'm going through betrayal by family. So am I. All of that. Why do you think I'm in London? Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. I got married when I was 18. I got battered by my father-in-law. I got divorced in December. Okay. I've been raped. Yeah. I've seen the degree. You know? So, so, so for sorry, me, as the one who kept money yeah. and that still happened, why the fuck should I be modest? I'm sorry, for people like that. No, 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 that doesn't see. Just because that happens to you, you don't fall away from your beliefs. You don't. It makes it stronger. It should, your backbone is like that. No, I'm sorry to hear that. It's alright, I'm sorry. sorry for some that. other man's actions. Yes. So what was it? Was you you wasn't married to? No, I was married when I was 18. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, thank you. Alright. Yahawa by Sham Yahawa Shai Barakafa. 
Yeah. May bless you for that. I, just, I was watching you guys from there. Yeah, yeah. I said you must have some productive debate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, it is. And yeah. uh, you guys must need some water, fresh water. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, brother. Yeah, yeah. May yeah, God you. bless you. Hey, this the Lord's going to bless you for that. You know? <laughs> but you know what the true water is, brother? Quran. That's right. Quran. <laughs> all, the, you know, yeah. all the holy books. Yes. Yes. Allah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Quran, Bible, Torah. the, the, the original, original Bible, yeah? yes. not the one with the change. Yes. Quran, Bible, Torah, and the book. That's why I started this conversation about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, I'm not going to step on your toes, but yeah. this, this, this is where I differ, yeah. I know. It's, it's just a different way we respect. respect is that? Yes. I've read certain Definitely. bits of the Quran, and from what I've picked up on, it's, it's, like, a, it's like a copy of the Bible, no, from what I've read. No, you know why people say that? It's because in the Quran, we have one chapter about it's Isa Islam. They it's have a, a book about it, the past right? yeah. in the Quran. Yeah. But it does tell you when the Quran... It doesn't mean it's a copy of yeah, but it. Tells you the Quran, who the, it tells thing. you who the holy people in the Quran are, right? Yeah. And it says the children of Abraham are the blessed ones. We have children. chapters we, for every person, we, yes, every yeah, prophet. Yeah, and Abraham, it sums yeah. it up. But then the difference is comes, you know, after the Hazrat Isa Alayhi Salaam, and yeah. then uh, Azra, you know, the Prophet Muhammad. So, Salaam Alayhi Salaam. This is, this is the Yeah, I hear that, I hear that. But if I'm not going to... As not, wrong, we respect each other. Yeah, yeah. In the, yeah I'm not going to encroach. I'm not going to encroach because... Yeah. Respect. You even had um, Jeremiah and Daniel. They were in different yeah. captivities, but they were still respected amongst yeah. Cyrus, yeah. Yeah. the Persian, Pakistani, yeah. Yeah. Um, Iran, Iran, Iran uh, Persian, yeah. 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 Persian Empire. You had a great empire. Yes, yeah. So we still have respect, but... Yeah, yeah. and you do well have some water, because I'm going to run now. You know what? Are you going to come back and listen? Who knows? You know what? It's all by the spirit. But it was nice meeting you. you and you know what? If you ain't got a man, I wouldn't mind taking your digits. What did you start by saying? Huh? No, no, I'm just saying, you're looking all right, you look good, so if you ain't got a husband, let's get acquainted. <laughs> Alright, it's nice speaking. you. Alright, the Lord's going to bless that, bless that man. Brought me some water. Alright, that's a blessing. Bear with me just a minute. Bear with me. Alright, it's, it's been a blessed day. It's been a real blessed day. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Alright. So yeah, it's just flying with the spirit. It's going to flow with the spirit. Bear me just a minute. We're going to shut off. I think, you know, I think we should shut off now. Because I want to save some data. So um, with this, I hope you've been edified. And until the next time, shut a worm to the whole toilet. Shut a worm. And I want to give all honours. And the phrases belong to Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Bahasham Mohava Ka Kwadash. Thank you. Thank you, Yahweh Shai. Thank you. Thank you. Until the next time. Shalom.